All right, to get Street going for customer interviews, I'm going to click on New under Pipelines and select the Sales and CRM Pipeline. That's going to give me a head start here on my different stages of my workflow. So the first thing I'm going to do is change this name, Customer Interviews. And inside here, you can see each one of these boxes represents a stage or a step in the workflow of getting my customer interviews. Leads, that's fine. Contact, it's fine. Pitch, now we're not going to be pitching, we're going to be interviewing. So uh, maybe I'll call this stage like interview scheduled. And then the demo, this is I've actually completed the interview. Negotiating, let's say I've got you know, no reply from someone. Uh, and then I've got some folks who you know, declined to be interviewed. And in this stage here, let's just say I want to I delete this stage here. They don't need that one. Okay, so these are the different stages, and now what I'm going to do is define the properties of the the people that I want to contact. So we're going to actually use the CSV that we've started that has the company name, URL, the contact information, and email addresses, and we're going to use this as the the basis for the properties of the different people in our workflow. So I'm going to make sure that I've got things in here like insert, I want to add in email address. I'm going to insert the company name. We already have name over here, but now we actually want company name. I want to add the URL and I also want to include an intro property. Now this intro, this is a the personalized uh, introduction line that goes in each email. And we can take a look at that in the spreadsheet. So here in the spreadsheet you can see that I've got company name, URL name, email address, intro. So these are the personalized introductions that I would put in, you know, if I'm contacting Donna, love your blog post on blah blah blah. And you can see I've just put in a couple samples that we can use just to illustrate. I've also added a stage column here to my CSV. And this is going to tell Streak where we should put these leads to begin with. So I just put them all in the lead stage. So I'm going to save this as a CSV. Excel is going to say, hey, it's a CSV. Are you sure? And then I'm going to go into Streak, and I'm going to say more and import boxes from CSV. Now a box, that's just, in our case, it's a person, a specific lead. And Streak will automatically add emails from that lead into our box. I'm just going to choose my CSV here. HM Marketplace Data. And you can see Streak found 16 boxes with the following information matched. That looks good. Let's start the import. All right, now you can see that Streak has automatically imported our CSV. So you can see they're all under the lead stage. That's denoted here. I've got their email addresses, the URL, my intro line. Everything's looking great. So what's cool now is that my CSV is now in my Gmail. So I can easily, let's say someone replies back, and they say, you know what, uh, I am interested in an interview, and I would schedule the interview with them. Boom, now I move them from lead to interview scheduled, and I can manage all of this from Gmail. What's better, though, is that I can come in here and I can send a group of emails to these people and have them be sent with personalized messages, but not have to copy and paste a bunch of stuff. So if I click the lead box here, then go to more and send mass email, mail merge. Streak says, I found 16 emails, continue with mail merge. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste in a template that I can use to send an email to each one of these people. All right, so here's an email that I want to send to everyone, but this is specific to Sam. So I'm actually going to remove Sam here, and instead of putting Sam, I'm going to go down to Insert Template. And here I can choose which field I want to include. So in this case, I want to say name. So I want Streak to automatically put in the person's name from the box property that we've defined over here. I want you to insert that into the, into the template. And you can see as I hover over each of these, uh, on these emails, it says, Hi Donna, 
hi Aaron you can see it's automatically replacing the name for me so I can see what their actual email will be when it hands out sends out to Pete okay, I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna go back into my email here in the template this is all the intro line so I'm actually gonna remove that and I'm gonna put in another template here this is my intro template so you can see as I go over to Donna I love your blog post on blah 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 blog post Chicago etc so you can see these are automatically getting personalized and then for the subject line, I'm going to include something like remote coding. Now, uh, if I want to, I can go in and I can edit these specifically. So I saw this here. Oh, that's a weird note. I'm going to click edit on this one. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to change this blog post on blah, blah. And I can change something specific. Oh, you know what? I know this guy's not available on Fridays. So let me just change this to Monday. And click done. And now Streak says, hey, this email has been customized, so it's not going to get all of the templated changes that I make. Uh, so from here on out, if I want to, um, if I want to make additional changes to my template, I have to restore Aaron to the original email and then change it back. Otherwise, Aaron's going to get the, the same old one that he had before. All right, now comes the fun part. Now I get to hit send, and as soon as I hit send, Everyone's going to get this email, except it's going to be personalized to each person. So you can see what it looks like when that happens. So Streak actually will open up each in email individually and send them out. So you can see it's pasting in the information. Now it's waiting a little while in between each email to avoid some of Gmail's limits on number of emails you can send uh, at any one point. Now all of my emails have been sent. So what I can do is, as people come in and they either reply and say they're not interested, um, I can move them and say declined. I can say, you know what, this guy has not replied. And in fact, these five, let's say five days from now, I decide that these five people have not replied. Um, so I'm going to send them a follow-up. Maybe I'll go in and I'll check this box right here, and, and I want to send a follow-up email. So I can just go into more and send mass email again, and I can send each of these people a follow-up. So I've used this technique um, really effectively because it, it helps me keep track of all the people who I've scheduled interviews with, um, and those I haven't scheduled, and then those that I have interviewed. And what's really nice is that you can actually type all the notes that you need to in here. So as I'm talking with someone, I can make notes here. You can also just paste notes in from Evernote or wherever you like. Now, when Angela writes back, uh, we should see all of the emails that um, she sends in here, collected here. You can see all the notes from uh, our conversations here as well. You can add files, email filters, reminders to do something, contact Angela, all of that kind of stuff from here. So that is how you use Streak to do your customer development interviews.